If you've ever been in a play, you know that even before the actors set foot on the stage, you need to arrange the set. You might start with a colorful backdrop on the back wall. Maybe you want to put a window there or a rug on the floor. You can add a light for some atmosphere, maybe a bed so we know this is a bedroom. In Flash, we have a virtual stage. You start off with a white rectangle. Each object is on its own layer, which is these horizontal bands across the top. And you lay them on top of each other, one at a time, kind of like if you had cut out objects from a magazine and layered them up to create a scene. The timeline determines how long each object is going to be in the scene. I set my timeline to the beginning of the movie, and you can see that there's white spaces in some of the layers. That means those objects do not appear on the stage yet. The black dot and the gray layer means that there's an object on that layer of the stage. You can see that there's a red rectangle over the number one, and that means we're on frame one. We're at the beginning of the movie. I can drag this scrubber along the top of the timeline, and you can see down here it tells me what frame I'm on and how many seconds it passed. When you get to frame 30, that means one second. That means it takes 30 pictures to make one second of your movie. I can press return and the scrubber will go along at 30 frames a second and you can see on this timeline that this little object starting to move and it's blue and here comes another object. Why don't I press return just a minute and show you. I can back this up and I can go forward. These blue lines mean that that object has a motion tween. It's been animated. We'll talk about motion tweens later. But those uh, items are on the timeline and they are moving. They have been animated. These are gray and these are just objects that sit there. They're on the stage but they don't move around. You can see when I put this on here there's a little box that goes around them. Okay, I could even take my arrow tool and move it around and it wouldn't really do anything. Alright, so you can see as each object comes on the stage there's a blue band that shows up in that timeline. And then we go all the way to the end of the movie and you can see that this is almost 22 seconds and it's 30 frames per second and it's 659 seconds long.